Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Clash video and we're here for the Community Choice British Grand Prix. Uh, so we all voted and the British Grand Prix won and we're going to be jumping in here for Community Choice event. We're going to be entering into Champions Division as it's the only thing we want to enter into. Alright, so there we are in Champions Division. We're going to attempt to go for a full out... Uh, perfect score here with Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc our Norris is at level seven level six Leclerc at level seven as you can see he's maxed out all 80s uh, if we get Leclerc up to one more level he'll be maxed out all 80s as well uh, but for now we're not buying anything as it's the last season uh, the last uh, about the last month in the game uh, next month which is going to be May is going to be the beginning of the new season so you want to start saving your bucks uh, instead of spending it on stuff that is going only going to last you only like 30 more days all right so let's jump on into our first race here and see what we can do remember to smash the like button if you haven't already done so remember to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed turn on your post notifications and let's jump into our first race and see what we can do in this one Here we go for our first race. Let's see what kind of qualifiers we get here at Silverstone with our drivers. Driver looking out in front. Can we catch up? Yes, we can. It's 3-4 for us, 5-7 for the rival. All right, so uh, as I said, we're gonna be going for a perfect run. So we're gonna be using our uh, premium boost. So we're gonna go instinct uh, for you. And uh, as for you, uh, I want to go something with tire management so i'm going to go rooster do i want to go rooster all right let's go odd for the corners as united kingdom is a corner and speed track so we're going to go with odd rival going for mediums and hards why would he go mediums and hards i don't know anyways we're going to go fast start method <coughs> give him a good luck nice pickup early where is Lando? Get down the inside. There we go. All right, so this is looking pretty well. We're gonna cut down Lando. And then we're gonna cut down Leclerc as well. Cut him down there. Let him cruise for now. As we go and create distance on the rival. He seems to be stuck on P3. What tires is P3 on? He's on hards, Leclerc on hards. Now he clears Leclerc. Burning down his mediums with the Samba. So he has extra fuel on the Samba boost there. And he's gone for the Iron Force, which also gives him extra fuel. So we're gonna let that cruise as we push our Leclerc a bit. Create a little bit of distance. So he's going to be doing a one-stop strategy since he's on medium and uh, hards. As you can see, he's still boosting. So he's going to do a two-stop with his Norris unless he's going to come back to hard tires uh, with his Norris. And we're just going to keep or Norris cruising. Cut him up to regular driving from there. And then we'll boost Leclerc from here. Cut back down Leclerc so he doesn't run out of tires. We're going to do a two-stop. We're gonna come back for softs with no servicing. And we're gonna come back for softs with no servicing. All right, so we want Leclerc to get out before Lando Norris comes in. Yes, he can. Great, so Lando Norris will get a fast pit stop on the rival and he should be out there. Rival coming back to hard tires. We're now gonna boost two laps, <clears throat> create some distance on those hards and get a free pit stop. Wrong decision to come back to hard steer. I guess I knew he kind of was going to go for a one stop since I saw him starting on mediums, but he burned his mediums down uh, to catch up. And that's not a good news for him. <clears throat> so we're going to bring in ore drivers now to service. We have Lando Norris with the odd. So he has fast pit time, so he's going to stock, but it's not going to cost us a lot of time in the pits. And we see the rival. Where is he? Has to be on regular driving. How he's boosting now. 
on his hards but the hard tires are not really going to be picking up any distance or cutting down any time versus these softs as they're pretty slow all right so here goes out leclerc and here goes lando out lando just in front here we go just in front pushing off the rival uh give him a great race and well done one to secure for us as we now just boost away thanks man great race to you as well all right so we just boost away now and our first 47 points is secure as we boost for the final lap all right so the rival Leclerc, how did his Leclerc got out to P10? I'm not even sure. I wasn't even paying too much attention to his Leclerc. I was just paying attention to his Lando Norris, who was at the front of the pack uh, with my drivers. All right. All right. So we managed to pull uh, the first 47 points here. Looking good. Crossing the line, P1, P2, great. All right, so give the rival a good luck as he's out of tires with his Norris, but he's too far away. So he secured P3 and his Leclerc uh, can get up to P9. Maybe possibly can squeeze up to P8. No, he can't. So he's going to be in P9 for the finish. So here we go for our next race. Uh, we've qualified here at the spa. 3-4 it is for us. We'll take it and we'll start them off. Oh, almost forgot to put on the boost and we are going to be going for perfect. All right, so we're going to be putting on which other boost I have a lot of. That gives me uh, power. Let me see. I think I have a lot of doubt dead fast so yeah I could go dead fast and uh, let's use another boost that I haven't used just yet let's go pretzel don't think I've ever used the pretzel before did it so oh come on it did oh oh no we made a mistake there we didn't switch over to the next driver but it's all right let's see if Leclerc can squeeze up in there and if Lionel Norris can make his way through as well. All right, so we have both all softs. We have mediums and hards in front. Who is on mediums? Who is on hards? Verstappen on hards. Lionel Norris now passing Verstappen. Here comes the pretzel now passing Leclerc on his mediums. Uh, as we keep going, we're going to cut them down right about here. Cut them down right about there. As we cruise for now. But the pretzel gives us a good amount of consistency and pit time. So we're going to need those. Let's boost now both drivers. Take advantage of the straight going up the hill. There we go. Up in elevation. Up the hill. See if we can sneak past Leclerc. Good defense. Ah, come on. The game's glitched. Uh, but we still picked up the position. Even after all the glitching from the game, we still got the position done, the overtake done with Lando Norris. All right, so we're going to put in our go to pit orders for a fresh pair of soft tires uh, for both drivers. We're going to do no servicing and just come back to some softs. We're going to stock a little bit, but we should not stock too much because Lando Leclerc has the pretzel. I should give him a nice fast pit stop. There we go, 265. And. Norris back out and right, so we're gonna let them boost up the hill again up in elevation and let's see if we can sneak by Leclerc all right not this time we're gonna cut down there and there and then we'll boost back Norris around here then we see she, she should inside line there we go uh, Leclerc then we can just cut him down back there to save some of the tires and fuel we're gonna boost there and boost here uh, so we go by pit and then we we'll put in our go to pit orders. This is the lap we want to create that distance uh, with our drivers so they get a free pit stop on the next pit stop, uh, which is going to be this lap. All right. 
so here comes Leclerc. Got to keep an eye on him on his mediums. I think we have a nice amount of distance created on him now. We have uh, 12 seconds out there from the lead car. Looking good. We have eight seconds on our second car. So we should be good to get a free pit stop with both drivers here, especially with the pretzel. Uh, it's going to give us that fast pit stop time. There we go. So no stocking. Norris just came and slammed into the back of Leclerc for him to get out of pits. Uh, then we could just let our drivers cruise a little bit from there. Cruise a little bit from there as we've secured our next 47 points uh, in this one. There we go. Looking good. All right. Now we're going to just boost now for our final lap, both drivers, and they're going to cut themselves down uh, when they're down to low fuel. As we boost now Lando Norris, and he cut down nice and early, so we could just cut him back up to regular driving. He does not have the fuel. Now Lando Norris, why is the AI not boosting to finish? Isn't it the final lap or is the fifth lap for the AIs? For the rest of the pack we're on the final lap okay that's why they're not boosting all right so we should see these the rivals starting to boost after he crossed the line as it's going to be his final lap now and we finished the race so i'm looking to see if the ai is going to be boosting by the rival so as i said there we go great race there we go, he's boosting. So let's jump on into our final race and see what we could do in that one. Here we go for our next race at Bahrain. Uh, let's see what kind of qualifiers we get here. If we can close in on 3-4, looks like a 3-4. Good, 3-4 it is. All right, so we're going to be going now uh, again for Bahrain. We want to go a little bit of tire management. Uh, this time around, uh, so I'm gonna go with something with tire mine. I'm looking to use a boost that we normally don't use. Uh, which one of these boosts we normally don't use that gives us tire management? All right, so we're gonna go hook for one driver, gives us a little bit of pit time and some speed. And let's go Nazar uh, for the harder driver. We could have gone like for the spooner, uh, but it's alright. All right, let's go. Fast start method. Uh, nice inside line from Leclerc. All the way down goes Norris. Ooh, what a recovery from AI Leclerc to get back in front of Norris there. But here comes Norris as he's on hard tires. And Norris just recovered beautifully there and take back that position. Uh, now we're going to be creating some distance with our drivers. We have a little bit of tires on Lando Norris. So we can cut that off and cut down Leclerc. Cut down Norris, cut that off as well. As both our drivers now create distance on Leclerc uh, on his hard tires. Uh, so we want to go for three. And we see Leclerc going with the uh, hook boost here with three accelerations. So he's going to be flying down the straights. Uh, and he has some overtaking and a little bit of pit time there as well. All right. So we keep him going on conserve and we keep boosting back up from there to put in a flying lap as he goes to pit for no servicing and then we'll put in or go to pit orders uh, for no servicing as well for Lando Norris all right so p3 has been switched uh, medium tires are coming for Lando so what we're going to do now is we're going to boost Orlando from there so he can create a little bit of distance on those medium tires of AI Norris so he can possibly get a free pit stop if not a free pit stop he can come out right behind AI Norris uh, as or Leclerc is out of pits all right so here we go he get he get out right in front just in front just in front and we're gonna let our drivers now boost 
and create some distance on these guys who will be going to pit. Let's cruise a little bit here because we're only going to boost for two laps with these guys. Let's cruise a little bit and then we're going to boost there. As for Norris, we're going to boost there. We could go like for an extra lap with Lando because he has a little extra on tire management. As AI Lando goes to pit, we want to see what tires he's going to come back out on. He come back out on hard tires, so that's a good tire selection for him uh, and for us as well. All right, we're going to cut down and go around with Leclerc for another lap. Then we're going to come back to softs with servicing. And we're going to cut down and go around uh, with or Norris softs with servicing. Oh, Leclerc was still boosting. I didn't even notice that he was still boosting. I thought we have cut him down. Now he's going to suffer a breakdown. Yeah, I thought we have cut down Leclerc. Uh, but apparently we cut him back up to boost. Now he's going to suffer a breakdown right before he goes into pit. It's all right though. He has good distance. So that breakdown isn't going to impact him too much. And we're now just going to boost him to finish from there. And we're going to do the same and boost or Norris to finish from there for another 47 points. All right. Let's go. All right, let's slow down. We want to boost that final lap. So we want to save some fuel uh, to push that final lap home with Aura Leclerc. All right, here we go. Now to push final lap. Should have enough to go all the way as Lando Norris should also have enough to go all the way. Final lap. Blue flagging through everybody. Get out of the way. What kind of wide corner was that from Leclerc? See if Lando takes the corner better. Yep, there we go. Alright, Leclerc now down to low fuel as he crossed the line in P1. Lando Norris now blue flagging through these guys to cross the line in P2. Alright, great race there. For us, let's jump on into our final race of the video uh, to see uh, what we can do in that one. Looking good so far. We're on 47s for our opening our qualifying round here. And it looks like we're going to go all 47s for the entire qualifying round. So let's go. Here we go for our final race of the video. 63% chance of rain here at Silverstone, but it's going to be dry qualifiers as we continue to get that 3-4 dominance. Uh, and it's going to be a wet race with heavy rain into cloudy. All right, so we're going to go uh, for some wet boosts here. I want to go for some boosts that we normally don't use. I'm not going to use my reindeer. I'm not going to use that either. Not, not that either. Right, let's go Marilyn. Normally don't use that. And what else we normally don't use? It's been a while. Let's go cranberry. Normally don't use that either. All right, let's go. Three minutes of heavy rain. I want to start off with the fast start method and see if our drivers can sneak down the inside there. All right, Marilyn down the inside. Can Norris follow? Yes, he can with the cranberry boost. All right. So we're just going to create a little bit of distance here and then we're going to cut down to conserve and do four laps. Uh, and then we can just get another four laps and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. Three to four, three to four. So we're going to do four laps here on conserve, which is the maximum amount of laps we can get. We have consistency on Lando Norris and five wetness ability. For witness ability, boat boost gives you good overtaking uh, potential. The Marlin gives you a little bit of grip in there. All 
And as we continue to cruise for or four laps, looks like 47 points secure. Then we're going to come back to wet tires and boost the finish as it's going to be cloudy after the rain. So the, the rain is going to take a little bit of time to dry out. So we should be able to boost uh, to finish on those last final wet tires before the track dries out. All right, so there we go, 50%. Uh, way in the third lap so we're good to go for our final lap we might be able to even boost uh, a portion of our final lap with one of our drivers to create a little bit of distance so we don't stock three seconds lead on Leclerc all right so we're gonna line up our drivers now to go to pit we're gonna do no service in because we conserved for most of the race so just to make our pit stop nice and fast, we're going for a no service in stop. As we see the AIs has gone to pit for their fresh tires. And we're gonna boost Leclerc from there. Then we're gonna boost Norris from another portion of the track soon. Now let's boost Lando Norris from there. Cut him back down, don't wanna stock. Boost him in for a little bit of stock in and he should get out before the rival comes around yep there we go and we could just boost now from there to finish for three laps now we we did a no service in race here and it's good because it's silverstone and we did not service for four laps so our service we did not boost for four laps so our service bar is good to go uh, to finish for us here all right so two laps to go we're at 40 percent on servicing once we hit 20 percent we're just going to cut down to regular drive-in as we are out in the lead anyways all right so let's cut down now to regular drive-in from there regular driving for Lando Norris as well save some of that service in time so we can boost our final lap from there boost our final lap from there all right we're at 10 percent so we're gonna cut down again to regular driving And we're gonna cut down again with uh, Lando Norris to regular driving. And that should be good enough to go to finish uh, for the one to win without a breakdown here for us. All right, 3% for Leclerc as he goes across the line with 1% remaining. There we go. All right, so great race there for us. We'll take the 47 points. Let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your event. Uh, we've gone a perfect qualifying round so far. Hopefully we can duplicate in the opening round and the final round. That would be epic. Use code word LAP down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support. Let's see our final score and then we'll end the video there. Uh, we all know our final score, 188. <laughs> all right. All right, so there we go. Final score, 188 uh, and there we go. All right, so that's basically going to be it for this one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys, how you guys are doing in your events. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's get our new livery, Alfa Romeo. There we go. I'm going to stick with the Mercedes, though, for now. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk good, guys. Bye. Shout out to Vidmantis, Alfredo Jr., Touch My Dilly, and Xavier Magni.